guys. Um, got another mask review here. Uh, this mask is a mask I've been after for a long time. Um, they go for a few hundred bucks. I've never wanted to spend the money. Um, you know, it's that time of year. It's that season where I'm going out to thrift stores and antique shops and things like that looking for Halloween masks. Cause you can find a lot of older masks at thrift stores and things like that. So I've been hitting them up early. Um, I went to one the other day, and right when I walked in, right on top, was this. This is the Don Post Skull. A lot of people recognize this mask from a Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Really awesome mask. Uh, you know, Don Post Studios has been around forever. Um, on the back it says 1967 Don Post Studios. It was not made in 67. I believe this to be possibly a late 70s or maybe early mid 80s copy. But very cool. Um, this thing's in great shape. Fantastic shape. It did have a little tear past the keyhole, but I can fix that. This mask is vinyl, not latex. Very cool. Even if you're not a fan of Halloween 3, you know, this mask is just a, you know, kind of an iconic symbol of American mask making. It's just, it's, you know, it's just that, uh, that cool and that iconic, you know. I have another one here. You know, this one, they made these back in the day and then they used these masks not this exact style the jumbos were used in Halloween 3 I think they were a little bigger than this but basically the same thing um, but they you know they made these masks before the movie and they were out for a while and then they decided to use the masks from Don Post for the movie Halloween 3 um, later on Don Post did make Halloween 3 masks um, they made some I know they made them in 2012 they may have made some before that and they had the silver, sham, uh, silver shamrock emblem on them and everything and on the tag it said Halloween 3 but this is an original you know pre Halloween 3 Don Post skull so it's made out of uh, black vinyl it's all black on the inside they like sponge painted these back in the day I have a tr uh, I do have a Trick or Treat Studios one you know tagged and it has the silver shamrock but you can see how Trick or Treat did a great job I mean they got really close See, the Don Post one is a bit bigger. But yeah, really cool. I, I couldn't believe when I walked in there about shit myself when I saw this laying on the table. Really had glad to have it. Super awesome score. For sure my best score of the year. Probably one of the best thrift store scores I've ever made. But you can see, uh, you know, it's they're very similar. Again, this is the Trick or Treat Store version. This is the original Don Post version. I also have another vinyl one. This is a they call it a traveler skull now it's, they were sold at target it says target on the back of it and what this basically was was they a uh, company that kind of ripped off other companies molds and designs and they basically did a casting of one of these again you can see very similar um you know this one's all white this one did have some color to it it doesn't glow it did have some color to it it's worn off over the years but um this, the vinyl that, that this is used is that creamy white color, not a not black vinyl like this. You can see, like, you know, it is very, very similar. You can tell it is a ripoff of it. Still a cool mask. I've had this one since I was a kid. I got this in the early 90s, and I got it from a garage sale, and it had been around, you know, for a while since. I think this one's maybe late 80s when this one was made. Possibly early 90s, not sure. Another cool one. And then, uh, you know, later in the 90s, Don Post did start making latex skulls. Here's a latex glow in the dark version. You see it's a lot smaller. Still a basic design. You know, the same uh has the same cracks in the top and everything. You know, same. Same design, it's a lot smaller, and obviously made out of latex. You know, and these skulls have been around forever. I think they originally started making them, you know, in the 60s, I believe, early 60s. Um, you know, through the 70s, through the 80s. And again, through the 90s, even in 2000, they made, um, you know, the other, more of these skulls. But this is an 80s one, an original. Really cool to have this. It's in fantastic shape for its age. I can't, you know, it's damn near perfect. And again, the Trick or Treat Studio version is very similar. The Trick or Treat one is uh, latex. You know, it's a latex mask. The Don Post one over here is vinyl.
in a very cool sculpt. I believe a woman originally sculpted this. I believe this was, I forget her name, but I, I think she originally sculpted this for Don Post way, way back, you know, back in the 60s. And they've just kind of hung with this, does, this design forever. You know what, it's always been kind of a famous design. It's always been a well-known, you know, the Don Post skull. But, you know, when the Halloween 3 came out, uh, it really, really, you know, set off and a lot more people were aware of you know, this, this design of mask. You know, in Halloween 3, they they had the witch, the Hagatha, I think it's called, and, you know, they had the skulls, and they used those from Don Post, and then they had Don Post make the pumpkin specifically for the movie. So you're not going to find any really old pumpkin masks out there, but there are their old witch masks, and there, you know, there's even older ones of these, and these come in all different kinds of colors. Um, there's red ones, I think the vermilion ones, I think they're called. Um, they have ones called, you know, they call them the chocolate skulls. It's a, a brown vinyl that they used. There's glow skulls with glow paint. There's glow skulls where they actually put the glow into the, the vinyl, and the whole thing actually kind of glows. Lots of different uh, variations, lots of different years it was made. Um, th there's, a few, you know, there's a few experts out there that, that know a lot more than I do about it. I learned most of my stuff from them, but I, just, I know that this is a, a really awesome mask. You don't, you don't, you don't come by them too often uh, out in the wild. You, know, you, can, you can find them on eBay and stuff. You know, they are vinyl, so they do last. It's not like these ones all rot away or anything. But... Uh, you, you just don't find too many of them just kind of floating around out there. And again, I got this at a Goodwill, or a thrift, no, it's not a Goodwill, but a thrift store, and I got it for next to nothing. It's the same one that I usually find a lot of stuff from. I find a lot of older masks at this one every year. So, I will be vlogging uh, my thrift store tours. I'm going to go, I took a couple days off work, I will be going around to different thrift stores looking for masks, and I'll, I'll kind of film my, my journey through, through the used used to good stores, whatever you want to call them, thrift shops. Hopefully I'll find more masks like this. Um, I already found a couple other cool ones. I'll do a haul showing all the other ones I found, but this is, that I was real happy when I found this one. It's just too cool not to have its own, its own video. So yeah, the Don Post Skull. Again, copyright 1967. I believe this one to be, again, it, it, I'm thinking 80s, early possibly mid 80s I'm thinking early 80s but it could it could be late 70s I'm not I'm not exactly sure but again in fantastic shape the paints I mean all still there pretty much it's just a like I said a really iconic mask really just you know an icon of American mask making history I guess such a cool sign again here's the trick or treat studios one very cool I mean very very close you see, I mean, okay, this one is latex, but they uh, they did a great job. I believe Justin sculpted this, Justin Mabry. And again, if I stuffed this one a little bit, I could stuff them to look a little more similar to, you know, this one's probably not quite as stuffed. This one looks a little fatter in the face, but I mean, really close, really close. And again, they got the, you know, the 90s uh, latex one. And then the Traveler Skull, which I've had forever. Another cool vinyl one. The really thick vinyl this one is. But, yeah. The Don Post Skull. Finally own one of these. I've wanted one in my collection for a long time. Just a fantastic mask. Um, again, any people you know, that are fans of Halloween 3 know that this is a really cool mask. Um, yeah. Just an awesome old mask. I've wanted one forever. Glad to finally have one in my collection. Especially since I didn't have to pay big money for it and I was able to score it out in the wild at a thrift store. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I just figured I would share this with you. Um, really cool mask. More videos coming soon. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.